Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm, I'm hopping on to show you just a little bit more about the wellness layout I'm gonna use in July. I know that says June, but I'll explain in a minute. So let's say uh, you want to print your own pages, um, and you've chosen the to download purchase and download one of the files from Baker Lane Studio, in particular the wellness layout. So um, this is the first month of the wellness layout in the classic size. So it's basically just like I do normally with stickers. It's the normal classic size vertical layout and it's got my seven circles up here. You can use that for exercise or um, for me, I use it for keto or whatever you wanna use it for. But this is based on the original Wellness Happy Planner. Um, this is not a rotating prompt on this one. It's just memory of the week, which is really fun. Like I've told you all before, I've been using the same prompts since the spring of 2019. So what Katie has done, and I think this is fabulous and I'm so excited to use it, is come up with 31 different journaling prompts because I use the same seven, just like the original Happy Planner. Um, every single week. She's come up with 31. So you have a different prompt every day of the month and then they repeat the following month. So the first you're always going to have, I practice kindness and so on and so forth. And that is great. It's 31 prompts, not just seven. Um, and then this has stayed the same, positive word, reading, listening to, feeling and watching. I can still use overlay tapes and do all kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, um, I have a link in the description box. It will be in the description box of this video and it is also in all of my um, wellness videos starting a couple weeks ago um, that will give you, uh, if you sign up for her no spam um, newsletter, it will give you a coupon code for 20% off um, and let her know that you found her through me. So let's talk more though about the, the tools and the mechanics of printing one of these successfully. So first off, the paper. I see it all the time in the Facebook groups that I'm in. Um, what paper do I use? So this is the paper I'm choosing to use. It's HP, it's from HP. Um, and it's premium 32. And so that gives you, tells you the brightness, it tells you the weight um, of the paper, 32 pounds. Um, or for those of you from Europe, it's 120 uh, grams per meter squared. So that's, that's more of a, um, a density. Um, anyway, in the US, you're gonna go with, you're gonna need to know that it's 32 pound. So this um, is at least as thick as Happy Planner paper. I've used 28 before, but this is really, really nice. So before I started filming the video, I did a couple of tests. Um, I did a bleed through test and I did a repositioning a sticker test just to see how it compared. So I put this sticker on, I didn't leave it for too awful long, and then I pulled it off. And it, it did um, create a little bit of a rough spot and I did not stick this sticker to um, wax paper first. So it, it's, I can't get it to show up on camera. It did scuff the paper just a little bit there. You can kind of see it when I turn it at an angle, but not, not too bad. And if you stick to wax paper first, it's gonna come up just fine. It's nice and bright white. Let me get a happy planner paper and I will link this paper. I happened to purchase this off Amazon after checking several business supply stores and Walmart and all kinds of stores in my area. I could not find that specific paper anywhere. So um, I purchased it off of Amazon. I will put a link in the description box. But as you can see here, it's it's slightly different. It, um, the whiteness is, and I, I, colors are hard to get to show up properly on camera, but um, it's, a, it's slightly brighter white. It feels at least as thick, possibly just a tiny bit thicker. Um, as far as bleed through goes, I used my Zig um, dot, bingo dot markers um, because if you've watched my videos in uh, my dashboard videos that post on Saturdays you know I've had some issues with this bleeding through I used a flare this is the pointy end of the color dot where you can write with it I used my friction and did a little erase erase test and it erased just fine but the moment you've been waiting for the bleed through there is none um, there is, if you turn the paper just right, there's a tiny bit of shadowing, but I really don't think that's gonna 
that's going to show up a whole lot, especially when you have writing and stickers. I mean, if it's just a solid, plain white surface, um, you start to be able to see it. But when there's anything else on the page, you're not really going to see it. So very slightly shadowing. So there you go. There's and it's nice. It's nice and smooth. Um, at least as smooth, possibly smoother than the Happy Planner paper. So this is the paper I'm going with. I do have some cheaper paper, um, 28 pound paper, super bright white, Astro Bright, that kind of stuff. Um, but I think the key thing for this is going to be the weight of the paper. If you want it to be nice and thick and, and not um, bleed through even with the blackest of markers. So let's talk now about uh, the layouts. So the cool thing that Katie has done is given you a gajillion options. Um, so this is, is she, the, um, you can do dated or undated. Let's just go through some of the options. You can do wellness or journaling or plain. Um, so you can see there's a very slight, I think you can see there's a very, very, very faint dot grid, which is really going to help with writing and straight sticker placement and 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 so um, I love that I can I'll be able to put my four food diary boxes on there and not um, have to guess at when they're even she's got cut lines on here so that if you don't want to measure you can just cut on the cut lines um, and what you would and this is the easy print version so for the easy print version it just puts it down in the corner so you have two cuts to make standard printables most printables center it on the page and you got to cut four times so um but in order to get this to come out to the right size i do want to talk about a couple of different print settings and depending on what computer um uh, program you use those might change but i want you to um, go in and find two settings and they can be in properties they can be right there when the box pops up but i want you to make sure well three settings actually i want you to make sure you choose to print at actual size no shrink to fit no um, um fill the page nothing like that you want to print actual size okay make sure you find something that says print actual size um, the second thing I want you to do is tell it to print double sided because obviously you need, and that should checkbox should be right there as well. And you're going to want double sided, not flip on the top side because that'll make it kind of tablet style. And you'll have this page right side up and this page will be also right side up because you flipped top. It'll flip this second side of the page and that's not what you want. You want print double sided, two sided printing, flip on the long side. That tells it to put this one right side up and this one right side up, okay? And then the third setting I want you to do, not necessarily for your test print, but for your final print, is I want you to go in and tell it to use the highest quality print setting you can find. And that's gonna make these lines nice and solid and bold and thin and perfect for you to use okay so and she's got um test print pages that you get with your downloads and she's also got um some of these a lot of these instructions um there for you as well so you don't have to rewind and find this video but but check those three things and then i highly recommend you do um a, a cheap piece of paper <clears throat> and do a test print um, just to make sure you didn't miss a setting or if if your setting isn't worded exactly the way I just said you might find something very similar that you think is the correct setting just print one test page okay so now let's talk about what do you want to download well she's got a couple of different options like I said you can choose the non um, wellness layout and that's going to get rid of these um, water tracker spots that are here it's going to get rid of these um, journaling prompts it's going to get rid of the stuff on the side and just there are lots and lots she's got lots and lots of options if you just want to use this as a catch-all you don't even have to have the vertical layout you can do she's got lots of different really super fun unique options that she's been testing and working on for months you can here's one that's going to make a lot of you very happy you can choose a monday start or a sunday start I kind of like having my weekend two or three day weekends all put together because I love putting that weekend banner on there, which is a story for another day. But you can choose a Sunday start. Many, many, many people want the Sunday start. 
And then here's the other fun thing. You can choose uh, to add, augment this with monthly. So right now, if you just do the weekly layout in any of those forms, Monday start, Sunday start, wellness, not wellness, journaling, whatever other layouts, um, she starts them with just a plain sheet of dot grid. And I know it's not showing up no matter what, what way I angle the page, it's not showing up. But this is just a dot grid. So what that allows you to do, so for me, for July, I have the planner I've been using all year, this, this um, seasonal floral planner. I, I'm going to keep this the monthly. But then instead of turning to this first week, I want to turn to this first week, which this week actually in this particular case was included in Ju June, but let's just say this was where I wanted to start. Since this is dot grid, I can Franken plan this together and not lose anything. So I would, I would Franken plan those together and just go right to there. You, she also has a monthly layout. And so here's another fun thing. If you like your week to start on Monday, even on the monthly view, you can choose Sunday start or Monday start on the monthly view. So when I was working back as a project manager in the corporate engineering world, um, we get got gifted calendars all the time from our different suppliers and vendors. And all the calendars that came from Europe had Monday starts. The monthly calendars have Monday starts, which was really hard to get used to. I had a particular vendor um, vendors in Italy and Germany and they sent me calendars every single year and I loved them but I, it was so hard to get used to the Monday start so I feel you if you're used to a certain way it really can throw you off um, but at least that way if you like Monday start here and you're used to Monday start here you can get them both so here's the cool thing if you don't have um, a planner that you want to use you can get the monthly view and the weekly views and combine them. So what she's got is you would print this page with, and it would have dots over here and you would print this page and it would have dots over here. And then you could print your weekly and just glue the two dotted pages together and bam, you're ready to go. And you would glue the dotted page of this to your piece of scrapbook paper or your old, um, tab you know if you have an old planner and you want to recycle the tab and it's got stuff on there that you don't care about anymore you could glue that just cut it straight leave your tab sticking out and glue that on there so that's a couple ways if you are super comfortable and savvy with using whatever program that you're wanting to use you can tell it to print print this page print this page and then either reload your paper or just tell it to skip the dotted pages and, and reload your paper. So there are other things you can do if you don't want a Franken plan, but there are, there are pra practically everything you need in there, um, in her files to print your own planner, which I'm just gonna, I'm just doing this for this month in July to play with it and I'm going to go back and use the rest of my year these pages probably although I do have them now um, I've got the files so if I ever want a Frankenplan and I don't want the colors that are on the page then now I have these as an option which also you can go you can buy the undated versions of all of these as well and just put your own dates on which I do lots of times as well so um, I'm gonna, oh, one other thing. So, you know, um, up to now I've been using stickers along here for my journaling prompts. And I do, I have a whole video, I've linked it. I will link it here on taking an eight and a half by 11 sheet of sticker paper, printing your own prompts and kiss cutting them by hand, which I will also link a video on kiss cutting and Katie has linked my tips and tricks to kiss cutting video um, as well. Uh, but here she has taken the 31 prompts. So if you have a planner that you love and you're just looking for journaling prompts, this row of journaling prompts that I stick on there every single week, these are her 31 prompts. You can purchase this file as well. And she's got cut lines on here on both sides. There you go. So you would print this on a full size sheet of sticker paper and you've got your cut lines here and your cut lines here so you can line up, you can kiss cut, and then that gives you 31 over and over and over again. Several months, there's probably a good, at least I would guess six months on here. Um, and that gives you then your, your journaling prompts to stick 
in each day of the week. So, um, which is cool then if you have certain ones that you like and certain ones that you don't like and you want to skip, you can, you can pick different prompts, but it does have several months of the full 31 on here that you can use as well. So last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and just grab, I've cut all the pages but one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my super big guillotine cutter. If you want to use the cut lines, you can. I usually don't because I have the sizes, the, the classic sizes already marked on here. And for me, it's just easier to line up and cut um, using, using the, the marks I already have. But if you, if you don't, you don't have to use the cut lines. There we go. All right. And then the next thing we need to do is punch and you can use your little flat paper trimmer. You don't have to big, have the big guillotine paper trimmer. Now, since this is 32 pound paper, it's really heavy. So I'm not going to be able to cut all those pages in one go. It's six pages. Um, so I'm just going to do three and three. All right, so we'll just line this up. I am using the Happy Planner Punch, although you could use a different punch. It's just gonna have slightly shallower mushroom um, holes, as we like to call them. But if you're doing an entire planner for say 2023, then all your pages will line up anyway, so. So all I'm gonna do now is, like I said, since this page this week was in my June because of the planner that I'm using. I don't need this page. Um, so uh, what I'm going to want to do, since I want to keep my monthly, is Frank and Plan Together replace this fourth with this fourth. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these all in. And obviously I'm going to replace the rest of the month as well, all the way to the very last page. There's the 31st. So let me show you at the very end of the month then you have a couple of choices. So if I put this in here, the entire month of July. So there's my, now I'm all ready to start planning my weeks for July, shooting my videos just like I normally do. I get to the 31st. Now I have two choices. For my goals page, this is what I use as a, a goals page for my wellness and fitness aspect of my life. And I've had a little trouble dealing with these florals that are on there. She has done just dot grid. So I can still use this as my goals page, matching my um, August uh, uh, divider um, and just, and not even need this because this is all dot grid anyway. So now I've got dot grid there. I can just make this my currently page, just like I normally would put my, um, my bullet points on there, my journaling, monthly journaling prompts, my monthly habit tracker. I, I don't even need to use this. An August sticker if I want it, um, I'm good to go. But if I do want to keep this, because these florals are part of the planner, because they match this divider that's not here yet because I haven't done my July move in, all I have to do is Frank and plan these two pages together at the end of the month when I get there. So there we go. There is my setup for July in my wellness planner and um, a few hints and tricks and tips on using printables. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned for um, my video next week where I'll go ahead and use this for the first time when I do my spread for the 4th through the 10th next Wednesday. Um, I hope you like this video. Check out that link if you want to um, discount and download and snag your own set of these. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, if there's anything I didn't cover that you're curious about. Give it a try. And again, like I said, if you have something doesn't work out right or if you have any questions, you can um, ask in the comments to this video or you can reach out to Katie on her website, Baker Lane Studio. Um, I hope you like this video. I hope you really enjoy the convenience of being able to print your own planner on whatever paper you love the most. Uh, I just think it's going to be a game changer for a lot of us. So if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.